meditating and thinking about God are basically the same thing. Okay, so I wouldn't really make a distinction between them because the purpose of meditation is to use the faculties, okay, to think about God. But we think about God in order to awaken love. Mm. And when the love is awakened, then we're present to God. And that's contemplation. We enjoy God's presence. But again, if we go back to the next Divina, for example, just to give you a clear example of this, and just the format of the Lexio Divina. <clears throat> if you look at the four stages, the first stage, Lexio and Meditatio, is this thinking about God in order to awaken love. So when we begin to move into the Oratio, we're beginning to move, we're no longer the center, it's not us, but it's what God is asking us now to pray for. And then we move from that into being present to God. So when we look at those four steps, I want to explain it in a very simple way. The first step, the Lexio, when you stay with the piece of scripture, the question you're asking yourself is, what is it saying? What is it saying? So pay attention to the words. What is it saying? The second step, which is the meditatio, when you're staying with it, is if something has struck you from that, a word or a phrase, you stay with that phrase. And you ask yourself another question. What is God saying to me? So what is God, God's addressing me now personally? And what's he saying to me through this word or this phrase? Then when we stay with that, when we move to the oratio, the third stage, it's another question. What is God now asking me to pray for? So having listened to his word, having chewed on his word, now, I'm responding to what God is saying to me in and through that word. What is he asking me to pray for? That prayer could be a prayer of repentance. It could be a prayer of thanksgiving. It could be a prayer of intercession. It could be anything. But, but the key thing is, what is he now asking me to pray for? And then, <clears throat> at that stage, we try and just become silent and to be present to God, who has addressed us personally, and now to be present to him. And that's different from thinking about him. It's now being present to him. And usually we will experience peace. We will have like a deep sense of peace, which is God's spirit present to us. Must be present. It's not just a feeling of peace. It's an acknowledgement of his presence, which brings peace. Or it can be joy and it can be delight as well. If you liked what you just saw and would like to see the full interview, click on the watch more box above or else click on the link in the description box below. Make sure to also click on the subscribe button above so as to receive more regular content. Thank you.